everyone. We will discuss the reliability of survey or test questionnaire. What is reliability? Reliability refers to the consistency of results obtained. For example, a graduated cylinder measures the volume of a liquid. It is used in the laboratory because it is a reliable measuring tool for liquid. In the same manner, a reliable IQ test measures the IQ of a person, and it can be used not only to one person but to other person as well. So a questionnaire is reliable if same results or scores are obtained on repeated trials. There are three aspects of reliability. One is stability. It ensures the stability of results obtained when a questionnaire is used consecutively for two or more times and a test-retest method is used. Another one is internal consistency. It ensures that all subparts of a questionnaire measure the same characteristics and we call this homogeneity and split-half method is used. The third is equivalence and it ensures that two observers study a single phenomenon simultaneously and inter-rater reliability is used. So this time, we will now study the different reliability tests. test retest reliability. The same test is administered to the same group of respondents over time to check test consistency. For example, you administer an IQ test to a group of respondents. We label this as T1. After six months, you administer the same test to the same group of respondents and we label this as T2. But why? It's because IQ is a variable that does not change over time. And there are many factors that influence the results at different points in time, like personal problems, mental stress due to COVID-19. So the purpose of this test retest is to assess how well a method resists these factors over time. Okay, and then after that, we will compute now for the scores of T1 and the scores of T2, and we will correlate that using now the correlation coefficient. And then whatever would be the obtained correlation value, so we will interpret that, and a high correlation value would mean high reliability. Split half reliability. A test is split into halves, either other even number, or either first half or second half, and the test is administered to both groups at the same time. For example, this is our first group, and we will label it as odd number or the first half. And this is now the second group, and we will label it as even number or second half. So we will correlate the scores of the odd number groups and the even number groups using correlation coefficient. And another one to identify the internal reliability of this test is through Cronbach Alpha. So I will discuss later in my next episodes correlation coefficient and Cronbach Alpha. So what will we do now with our values? So we will correlate. And high correlation value would mean high reliability. Inter-rater reliability. It is the level of agreement between experts or raters. For example, we have here two observers or raters. So we will do a table like this. So since the two raters give a score of 5, so in item number 1, we will give a score of 1. Remember our rule in uh, validity of questionnaire? So same rule applies. If 100% of the experts agree, we give a value of 1. Okay, let's take a look at item number 2. The other expert give a score of 2, so meaning they are no longer in agreement. So we will give item number 2 a score of 0. Assuming now that items 3, 4, 5, both experts are in agreement, so we give a score now of 1. And then after that, we will compute for the average. And the average for this is 0.80. And for two raters, we have to compute for the percent agreement. So... For our example here, our percentage is 80% and our cutoff value is at least 75% agreement. So if we obtain a percentage of 80%, meaning our questionnaire here is 80% reliable. So what's now the implications of the different cutoff reliability values? So we have here now the correlation coefficient values and we have here now the relationship. So, in order for you to understand this, let's have an example. 
For example, our value obtained is positive 0 0.56, and this value lies in this scale. So, what's the meaning of the relationship? A strong positive relationship. So, we use the word positive because our obtained value here is positive. Okay, another example, if we obtained a value of 0 0.37, and 0 0.37 lies in this scale, so if we will interpret it, it is moderate negative relationship. Why negative? Because our value here is negative. To sum it up, here's now the different types of reliability tests. So we have the test retest. Same test is administered to same group of respondents at different time. Another one is the split half. Different test is administered to different group of respondents at the same time. And the third one is the inter-rater reliability test. Same test, agreement of experts at the same time. So the question now is, which reliability test will you use in your questionnaire? The answer is, it depends on the purpose or objective of your test or survey questionnaire. So I hope that you like this video. If you like it, click like at the bottom and click subscribe so that you will be notified for more updates.